here and today we're going to do a power plate workout with a resistance band. We're going to focus on the legs, the core, the upper body. A few housekeeping rules. We're going to do some squats and when we squat, we want to make sure we're like sitting in a chair. We want to keep the knees above the ankle. We want to make sure that the small of the back is a nice arch. We don't want to put any pressure on the lower back. We want to focus on just the glutes and the thighs. We want to make sure that the shoulders are rolled back so we have a nice long elongated spine. Also for upper body, we're going to be doing some shoulder raises to the side and some shoulder raises forward. Really want to make sure that when you're taking your shoulders out to the side, you're just pulling enough where we're not stretching the shoulders, the traps. We don't want to put any tension in that neck area. So just kind of be conscious of when you're moving, just take it up as far as you can until you feel it in your muscles, and then we're gonna take it straight back down. So let's get started. The resistance band is going to go under the balls of the feet. We're gonna take it a little bit more than shoulder width apart. We're gonna start the power plate at 30 seconds at a 30 vibration. So go ahead and turn the power plate on. And we're gonna squat it down. And as we squat, we're gonna take our arms out to the side. We're gonna do three repetitions of each exercise. So the next one, we're gonna hold it down and then we're gonna pulse the shoulders three times and then we're gonna pulse a squat three times. So again, out to the side, both legs and arms moving together. One more repetition. Let's hold it down. Three shoulder pulses, three pulsing squats. So that was 30 seconds. Let's hit repeat the same thing, but we're gonna pull the shoulders forward. So let's hit the repeat button. As we squat down, the shoulders come forward. Make sure we're sitting in that chair as we go into a squat. Let's hold this one down. Let's pulse the arms and then let's pulse the legs. One more time. Down and forward. One more time. Let's hold this one. Pulse the arms pulse the legs. Great job. So the next 30 seconds, we're going to do a squat with a bicep curl. We want to make sure that the elbows are tight to the body. So we're not losing control. We're not swinging the arms all over. And again, we're going to squat it down and curl them. Here we go. Squat and curl. Two more times. Good. So hold this one down, pulse the arms, Pulse the legs. Good. Again, squat and curl. Keep those elbows tight in the body. Hold this one down. Little bicep curls, little pulsing legs. Good, one more time. One, two, three. Three little bicep curls, three pulsing squats. 